because this is a brand new combine. The paint is still on our rotor, on our cage, as well as our feeder house. So things are still a little grippy. So we're not pushing things overly much, right? That's right. <laughs> another video wipe my lens off uh, but today we have an exciting day we are taking a Gleaner s98 a centennial edition Gleaner combine out into the field to do some demos and we are gonna be stepping into looks to be a wheat crop and we're gonna see what we can do so this Gleaner combine is a brand new one and we're gonna be getting it nice and dusty for the first time here so we will take you along for the ride and Let's see what we can make happen. See a nice big grain bag, sweet versatile, and boy oh boy, check out what just pulled in. J-Rod in a sweet Centennial Edition Gleaner. Hooking up here to our Macdon. Let's see how good he is at hooking up. Mark and Jarrett. Flipping this Macdon into transport. Boy, do I love the cabs on these. Mark and Jarrett taking off. And then we'll play with this in the corner of the field before the customers jump in it. Gonna be a good day. Just trying the first little bit here. And now we got just the first little bit, and we're having troubles with our flex and our hinge on our Macdon. So we got service was driving by and just happened to stop in pretty quick, which worked out nice. But for all you massy guys, everyone watching, you're gonna love this next one. Check this out. Not exactly how we wanted the first 50 feet to go, but mind you, this is both a brand new combine and a brand new header, both hooked together. As much as we don't want it to be, it is kind of expected. But we got it all fixed. The hinge on the Macdon, once we started, uh, once we unlocked it and it hinged down, it was good, but once it leveled back out, it would lock back and rigid. So we got it all fixed up and we should be good to go.
turn it off. Give her some RPM. Just let her sit. <laughs> cleaner with a cleaner. I just wait, look at your shoes and stuff. Just let her keep blowing. Seems like it's all cleaned out. I would, I'd go full throttle, engage that header. Nope. So then we're just gonna have to reverse it a bit more here. Might have to just pull some off. Yeah, I'll go grab some. Back in business. Cleaner's getting all dusty. But in here we can see we're 70% full because our combine in the middle is blinking. Got our GPS all set up. And it's smooth sailing right now. So we're in a really heavy crop as we can see. And we're going 3.8-ish, uh, running about that 75 to 80. We go a little bit faster, then it gets a little thicker to slow down, but it's running good. And we're trying not to push things too terribly much because this is a brand new combine. The paint is still on our rotor, on our cage, as well as our feeder house. So things are still a little grippy, so we're not pushing things overly much, right? That's right. <laughs> we got the little swath we're picking up now. The contour buddies, or I guess contour maxes. And that chopper is doing an awesome job with the straw. We can see it's spreading nicely with a crosswind, but spreading nicely across our 40 foot width. We're gonna be doing our walk around we should also check out our auger extension that we put on this. Allow for a little more room with that 40 foot. And we opened up engine compartment. And then we have our cage, our rotor shield lifted up because we wanted to check our internal chopper knives, make sure they were on the Cutting smallest, just to make sure. We can also see our accelerator rollers. On this combine, our augers to feed it. And then concaves and our whole rotor. We can see that rotor still has paint all on it. So even our concaves there's all paint still on the inside, so take it easy at the start here. Our reversing fan. A little bit of grain. Must not have been closed fully right here. But a nice little nifty engine compartment. You can see our Agco Power engine.
and all the combines are just on their way over because it's walk around time.